shallow rocky fast rivers to deep slow navigable rivers, hot summers and mild winters to warm summers and cold snowy winters, big dirty cities to small agriculture farms. Lastly, lastly, slavery to no slavery to no slavery. The Civil War started. The North faces the South in the biggest war of our nation's history. But why did it all start? The Civil War started because the South wanted to expand slavery, and the North didn't want slavery at all. Also, the South played the more states' rights, and the North didn't. Slavery, an action that tore this nation apart. Slavery is the action of owning a person. The North thought it was morally wrong, and the South thought it was just fine and could save them lots of money. Slaves were bought and sold. Who knew that owning a person could tear a nation apart? The North and South had many different views on the, about the Civil War. The nation's president, Abraham Lincoln, said it best with, A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the Union to be dissolved. I do not expect the House to fall. But I do expect that it will cease to be divided. It will become all the one thing or all the other. Either the opponents of slavery will arrest the further spread of it and place it where the public mind shall rest in the belief that it is the course of ultimate extinction, or its advocates will push it forward until they shall become alike lawful in the all, in the all states, old as well as new, north and north as well as south. But the Confederates, President Jefferson Davis said, "I worked night and day for 12 years to prevent this war, but I could not. The North was mad and blind, but not let us govern ourselves, and so the war came. So the war came." But the bloodiest, costliest, and arguably the worst battle in U.S. history came on July 1, 1863 to July 3, 1863, the Battle of Gettysburg. Exactly 51,112 people were killed in the battle. The Battle of Gettysburg was a huge victory for the North, which eventually led to the South's surrender. Finally, on April 18, the Civil War ended with the surrender of the Confederate Army. 617,000 Americans had died in that war, approximately the same number as all Americans, as, as in all other Americas' wars combined. After the war, the South joined the nation again, but the South had been destroyed in many ways. The war made the country better today because there was no more slavery. All in all, the Civil War ended slavery and ended the lives of 617,000 Americans.